boys and girls. Today I have a special guest with me, my dog Daisy. She wants to tell you good luck this week. Right, Daisy? Yeah. My name is Mrs. Wade, and today is a big day. Actually, the next five days are going to be really big days for you because you are going to be writing your very own essay. Now, throughout the next five days, I'm going to break it down for you so that you're only doing a little bit at a time and you're not doing like the whole essay today. That would be crazy. So what I want from you today is I want you to choose a plan that you've already made. So if my calculations are correct, you have already made a plan for your favorite animal, your favorite chore, your favorite season, and the best activities to stay in shape. So you are going to choose one of those four plans. You may not choose your favorite restaurant plan since that was the one that I used to model how to write an essay. So out of those four plans, your first job is to choose one of them that you actually want to write an essay about. All we're doing today is we are writing a topic sentence to start our essay off, okay? So we need to make sure that our topic sentence includes the five parts of a sentence, which I have recopied for you here. As you can see, it includes a subject, a verb, a capital letter, an end mark, and it makes sense. So make sure your topic sentence has all five components of a sentence. We have also worked on topic sentence starters. And just as a reminder, I have written them here for you to easily access and kind of get your brain rethinking about how we did our topic sentences so many lessons ago. So the first one was a number word topic sentence. And remember that topic sentence must have a number word. Also your topic sentence, no matter which topic sentence starter you choose, you need to make sure that it includes your key words from the prompt. So if you're writing about your favorite season, you need to make sure that your favorite season is named in your topic sentence. So just like I said, a number word topic sentence has a number word in it. If then is just like it sounds. It starts out with the word if, and then in the middle of the sentence, it has the word then. A when topic sentence starts out with the word when. And last but certainly not least, we have our although and even though. And remember, we either choose although or we choose even though. We don't put both in the same sentence. So that's your refresher for different ways to write topic sentences. So what you are going to do today is you are going to make sure you put the date at the top of your journal entry, okay? Then you are going to pick one of the plans that you have already made. So those plans should all be written above in your journal. You're going to go find the one that you want to use and you're going to copy and paste it into your journal entry for today. For example, I recopied and pasted my McDonald's plan into today's journal entry. I'm going to make sure I use my plan throughout this writing process. So again, what you're going to do today is you're going to choose a plan that you've already made, whether it be your favorite animal, your favorite chore, your favorite season, or the best activities to stay in shape. Once you've chosen your plan, you're going to go find that plan and copy and paste it into your journal entry today. Once you've copied and pasted your plan into your journal entry today, you're going to just write one sentence and that's all you have to do for today. That one sentence should be your topic sentence. I recommend using these topic sentence starters, either a number word topic sentence, if then, when, or although, and even though. I recommend using one of these topic sentence starters to help you when you write your topic sentence. And as I already stated, make sure that your topic sentence has all five parts of a sentence. Okay, that's all you're doing for today. Good luck, get creative, and take your time.